Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. So, I know it's been a little bit. It's weird. Uh, we haven't been to The Witcher 3 for a while. It feels like feels like a fucking year, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic 4th of July week. Hope all is well on your side of things, and I hope you've had the privilege to play as many good games as possible uh, throughout this week and month and year, whatever the fuck you want to point out to it. But, uh, yeah, uh, as I said, we're back with more of The Witcher 3. I know I'm kind of going slow on the series, um, but I'm going to try to go a little bit faster because uh, I know this DLC is really long, so... It's gonna take probably all fucking summer, but we'll get through it, I promise. I hope. I'm hoping. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, right now, we have to report to the Duchess about the hunt. Uh, that's kind of like the next big thing on the main uh, story of The Witcher 3. So we're gonna do that now. Don't forget, as always, guys, to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. And uh, if you want more of any game, just don't forget to leave a comment. Hey there. We're here, Geralt. Time to get off and go talk to this lady. This super nice lady. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? We found the beast. Didn't get to catch it, though. Found the beast of Beauclair. Just couldn't kill it. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. <laughs> is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a Batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. 
Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ah. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Hire vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I agree, man. I agree. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine, or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint-Retour. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Mm, hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint Real, the 1269 vintage. Damn, he knows his shit. That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. What do you mean, we? Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Let's go! Yeah, ready to go. Ready as ever. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off.
This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Wait for me! God, guys, you're trekking along... ...along ahead of me. Hey, guys. I'm surprised the Duchess is even coming with us. Who saw Hunters that coming? Have attacked the wagon. We must tell it. Oh shit. We shall see to this. Indeed we shall. Oh my god, more Panthers. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh shit, I forget how to play. Oh, it's been too long. Fuck. I gotta do these episodes more close together. I'm already at halfway health. That is not good at all. It's me. You're dead. Your turn, Mr. Panther. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Done. Time to move on. Nothing of that. If not for you, we'd have been done for. Yes, I know. You have been done for. Okay, guys, hold on. Meditation time. One hour I need. We're good to go! Cool. <laughs> I love this game. Okay. Where are we going now, Duchess? Take us to the sweet here. spot. Castel Novello. It's the best in old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it. Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain. How did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Is this it? Aha. Uh -huh. The funny thing is, she's ahead of us. You call that escorting her illustrious highness? What were you thinking? Captain, this is not the time for such complaints. As for you, Witcher, next time keep close. Hey, he wasn't close. I was closer than his pointy Captain mustache looking ass. We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Hmm. Want to talk to you? Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say, I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, your grace. Yeah. Did That's you right. hear that, Witcher? Yeah. Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. You're damn right you're at my service. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but... Any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. Good, good. That's what we like to hear. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, 
How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it! In either case, you shall answer for it. But... but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Of... Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Jeez. Glad I'm on her good side. <laughs> that bitch is psycho! Search the wine cellar with Anna Henrietta. So that's her real Why name, I guess. Was blackmailing the vampire. Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Okay. Going in a cave with Miss Duchess. All right. I like the sound of that. Time for torch. Actually, we don't really need one. It's pretty lit up down here, if you know what I'm saying. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Where? Right here? Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is. Barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Let's find it. Okay. Find Segrail from the 1269 vintage. This must be in a really expensive... Expensive bottle of wine here, so we're gonna have to be super careful. We don't fuck shit up. Nope, that's Everloose. Everloose. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Yeah. I didn't know Geralt was a wine drinker. Well, I knew he was a wine drinker, just not such a fanatic, you know? Well, I guess if you watch Game of Thrones, everybody in that time is a fanatic of wine. That's Est Est. Not the right one. Est Est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. It's too dark in here, man. Sis wine. Fiorano! That's not it. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Pomino? Wow, it's like the fucking last one we're searching for. Here. It's gotta be upstairs or something, right? I don't know where it is. It's not down here. I already checked all the signs down here. Luckily, there's a second floor and staircase to uh, make my way up. It's gotta be in one of them circles. Please be it. Oh, we get. Oh, that's 1270 for fuck's sake. Sorry, Real. 1270 vintage. Oof. I have a feeling we'll find something awry. Damn it. Close, but no cigar, Geralt. I can't even fucking move with this bitch in my way. Okay, calm down, Mike. It's just a game. Uh, there's nothing around here. It's gotta be over here. The opposite side. It's gotta be. My god, we're one off again. San Real. Barrels are dated 1268. <laughs> Close, but not quite the right year. <laughs> oh my god, this has gotta be it right now. Yes! Yes! Right here. 1269. What now? Woohoo! See if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. A knock will if suffice? We, thud, we will have found what we seek. A knock? The fuck's a knock gonna do? Knock on the barrels to see if they are full. Aha, uh -huh, that makes more sense. This one is full. 
full. That one's full. How about this one? Full. Full. That's his answer. Full. This one's full too. Sounds full to me. It's gotta be one of these. Sounds the same, full. man. It's gotta be this one. This one's full what? too. What? What? Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sonria? Grab a tap and a hammer. Ooh. We shall open them one by one and taste. Good thinking, Abe Lincoln. Find barrel taps. Find a tapping hammer. Great, so we're going to be searching around this whole fucking room again. Wonderful. Luckily, uh, this won't be as hard to do, so anything that's lit up should be fine. Oh, wow, just did it on the first try. That is awesome. I am amazing. Wooden hammer. Wow, look at all this loot. I'm going to take that. That will do nicely for some coin. All right, tap the barrels for Anna Henrietta. Okay, time to find. Moment of truth, baby. Then get to work. Let's broach those barrels. Never thought we'd be doing this in this uh, DLC, guys. Tapping some wine. Ready. Step aside. Sure thing, girl. Should I be doing this while she's opening that one, or... I mean, just to get her the head of the game, so, you know? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. Okay. This is Sonreal. Let's just hit every one so we're good and ready to go. So that one was Sangreal. She's got a lot more to check, though. She's got two more to hit here. It's definitely not going to be one over... Ah, you know what? Actually, it might be one of them over here. Maybe not. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Ooh, plonk. Could have gone sour Hate while that. aging. Ah. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Huh. Really thought nobody'd find out. 
I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself? How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a few days passed. A messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. Come on. He what didn't need that. Sir? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. Good. We will do as you say. We will. Let me know when you are ready. I am ready. Let's say I'll be back soon so I can end the episode, guys. Real Need quick. Wait a minute. Make haste. We await only you. Indeed you do. Okay, guys. Next, when we come back, we're going to tell Damien when we're ready for the ambush. I apologize. That was mostly a cutscene the whole fucking episode. Uh, it was a lot of talking, a lot of speech, a lot of dialogue. But I promise that's going to slow down once we get towards the middle of the DLC. Not sure how far we've come along in this, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of parts. So sit back, relax. I'm going to definitely try to get this series out a lot faster than I have been doing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Don't forget to drop a like. I will see you when we come back. Love you all and bye-bye.